I'm Wayne from TC Electronics and Marine. Today we're going to show you how to separate an upper and lower gear case on an OMC Cobra. Um, we're going to start, you're going to need a 3 8 wrench and uh, you're going to need a 3 8 socket, 7 16 socket and a 5 8 socket. Uh, two by six piece of block of wood, 32 ounce hammer, and the 9 16 gear wrench that looks like this, and a couple of 8 inch by 3 8 screwdrivers to pry it apart. A small pry bar might be nice too. And you will need some sort of a fixture to hold to hold the lower unit when you're taking it apart. Before you begin, make sure that the uh, oil is drained. You would remove the um, dipstick at the top. Simply take that out. And the other screw will be down here at the bottom and you'll need a pail or container to uh, drop the oil into. Once the oil is drained, you're going to need to way to invert the uh, drive unit. There's um, or we need to take off the tab, trim tab. We have two bolts. Five eighths bolt. And this one here nine sixteenths bolt there. The one in the middle is for the trim tab. And you don't need to uh, necessarily remove that one. Sometimes they have a calcium buildup, which makes taking them out hard. You need to heat them up with a torch if that's the case. And when you're installing them, you should be using an anti-seize that would look um, similar to this marine grade anti-seize made by Loctite. Um, you could also use a food grade anti-seize if you weren't able to obtain this one. And yet again you could you could also use the um, copper base anti-seize. Uh, whichever one you have would work fine. There is, after you, after you have these three bolts out, there's two 9 16 bolts on each side that need to be removed. You can do this with a regular open end wrench, but it's a lot faster if you have one of these uh, flex gear wrenches they're called. Two 
whoever has put this these bolts in has used an anti-seize and it's uh, very easy to get to get the unit apart. For these two at the back here and the trim tab need to be replaced to drop it down. Before the unit does drop down, there's a shift lever at the front here that will catch on the case. So it, this shift lever, after, as it starts dropping, we, will, um, we need to turn it sideways in order to clear the case to drop it all the way down. And that's the primary reason that the lower unit cannot be taken off on the, on the off when it's on the boat because you don't have access to turn this shifter to clear the case. If you drop it while it's on the boat it will catch on the upper gear case. So what we're going to do is put a block on here and see if we can get it to separate 32nd and 8th of an inch along here. And we would do the same on the other side. Now as you can see, it's separated here. And you would simply put a couple of screwdrivers, perhaps at the front first. And you may want to support it because we don't want this to go all the way down and come off because it won't, it would catch on the shift cable so we're only going to allow, we can only allow the top to drop approximately about an inch, inch and a half and then we have to turn the shift cable so you need to build up something underneath here stop the head from coming all the way down. And this is the shift cable here. We need to turn. And then after that, we can allow it to come the rest of the way down. That's it. And there's a little res residue oil in there. And that's all there is to separating the upper from the lower. The trick, one of the tricks is to make sure that the shift cable doesn't get changed. The shifting is critical. And if you turn this shifter any other way but back to where you got it from, it will change the shifting distance and then you will have to adjust it on the inside engine compartment to make up for it. So it's best if you can remember which way you turned it and to put it back to where you put it. Take the outdrive shaft out, slide it into the upper and tape it together so that it doesn't move uh, when you're um, working on it. This is the shift cable here. We need to turn. And then after that, we can allow it to come the rest of the way down. The um, water pump tube came out of the upper gear case. But we basically would like to see this. This needs to be greased or some oil put on it. That's when it. putting it back together. And there's a little residue. This should be in the lower. And that's all there is separating right here from the lower. The trick, in the upper gear case. The trick is to make sure that the shift cable doesn't in get there. changed. The shifting is critical. You can put some aviation gas compound shifter, on it or any other way. Back to where you got it from. 
it will change the they call it shifting the distance ceiling and then you'll have to adjust it on the inside engine hole. compartment to make up for um, it. So it's but best also, if you can remember which way you turn it. Uh, any you kind of aviation gag for you from the brown shellac. Take the outdrive shaft auto body auto uh, motor uh, into the upper type um, and tape it together. It's around three dollars. So that it doesn't move. Any automotive store. Uh, when you're um, and you just that will hold it in place. Working the ideal drive. way to put it back together is to turn the lower upside down and guide this area here onto the water pump tube, which is right here and to make sure that when you're putting it back together you put the dry shaft in the lower unit first and then turn the upper gear case upside down making sure that um, the water pump guide goes around this tube here, the water pump tube and then just tighten the bolts up in reverse the way I took them out and that's it Again, you're, you're going to have to turn the shift cable when you're putting it back together to miss the case of the upper gear case. As soon as it gets past the case, you will need to turn it forward again so that it's in this position it is right now. So you'd need to turn it sideways in order to get it into the unit and then turn it back to the front uh, once, it's, once it's past the uh, obstruction there.